The story to tell uh, starts uh, in uh, 1955, 1956. At that time, uh, Giulio Gambelli, who was uh, our own consultant uh, in Bibiano, as a freelance some, somehow, he was also working uh, as assistant of Tancredi Biondi Santi, the director of Farmers Association Cellar in Poggi Bonsi. And my grandfather needed the raw material for planting a new vineyard. And Giulio individuated uh, a nursery in Montalcino. So my grandfather bought the vines from that nursery and planted the vineyard originally of about four hectares. All that material originally came from Montalcino. So we remained with uh, that sort of legend that Giulio brought the Montalcino clones in Bibiano. And in fact, that vineyard has been always showing the best production of Bibiano since that time. And this is the great, this is the wine, Vigna del Capanino is the wine, the single vineyard we do with the Sangiovese Gross. Consider that we are uh, fermenting uh, our wines uh, both in stainless steel tanks and cement vats, under temperature control, of course. We were and we always been very, very tight with the use of barrique, because the cliché, the style of this winery is more uh, towards Botte Grande, the traditional. The Grand Selezione today is uh, Botte Grande, medium-sized barrels of uh, 20 hectolitres, Rovery di Slavonia, so Slavonian oak, plus French tonneau of 5 hectolitres. And not just the entire bulk goes into the wood, but generally is uh, an amount of 50-60%. Uh, because the rest, 50 or 40, whatever, remains in cement vats. Because uh, if I have to say something about uh, the aging process of our wines and also um, what I could uh, define to be the, the real touch of our winery is uh, the use of cement rather than the use of, of wood. Mm -hmm. 